Representations are signs that have been arranged to represent concepts. The relationship between these produces meaning in language, and this language becomes a part of our culture. Self-concept is an important aspect of identity, as cultural codes and how we choose to represent ourselves will affect how others will identify and understand us. If we wear thick-rimmed glasses, have a moustache and beard, or checkered shirts and converse, we are identified as a hipster. If we have a comb-over hairstyle, glasses, a pattern jumper, school bag and bow, we are identified as a geek. If we have crazy hair, a dark dress sense, chains, leather jackets and boots, we are identified as a goth. This identity construction takes place offline in our culture and online on Facebook. Facebook is a social networking site that has 1.26 billion users. On Facebook, users have a digital profile where they can write themselves into being. This profile is a digital representation of the self. Each user uploads an average of 217 photos and has an average of 130 friends. While 35 million users update their status each day, with an average 4.5 billion likes being generated, all of which contribute to identity construction. Users are identified by the language in which they write and how they choose to display themselves. The profile pictures we choose, the things we like, the statuses we make and the comments we leave, as well as the groups we belong to, all construct identity. Facebook users are in control of how they want to be viewed and how they want the audience to view them. On Facebook, users love to advertise what they have, who they know or where they have been, as they feel this represents who they are and states something about their identity. Users can be whoever they want online. The geek in real life can become the popular online. On Facebook, 8.7% of accounts are fake. Facebook can allow us to manage and create new identities. This suggests that we can be fake on Facebook. We can manage our appearance, who we are, and how we want to be seen by others, which means that Facebook is not always a true representation of our identity. Instead, it is a space where we can construct the identity of who we wish to be.